do, what to do, what to do. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yeah. What it do, what it do, what it do, Half and Jay family. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yes. It's your boy, Half. Hey, girl, Jay. And we back with, with another, another reaction, reaction video. video. All right, y'all, we back in the building once again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a sip of my water. I know some of y'all out there be hating on me. All he do is, how you go sit there and drink while you're doing reactions? Watch this. That's how you do it, you feel me? Just dress off the cap and, but I'm saying somebody was actually in the comments about uh, all he do is drink on water and, and, and eat and stuff while he doing reactions. Motherfucker, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't eat or drink some water while I'm doing a reaction. Like, you know, you have to have those people. Knock it off. But you anyway. Those people have yeah, to. I know. I ain't tripping, um, though. Yeah. Feel me? So, anyway, let them know who we're going to react to today. We are reacting to Jordan Peterson. And the commentary is How Hitler was even more evil than you think. Hmm, how Hitler was more evil than we think. All right, so let's see what Jordan Peterson has to say about Hitler. Now, Jordan Peterson is a very intelligent man. Um,. For the most part, that I have heard so far, he knows what he be talking about. So let's see what he has to say about Hitler. So before we do, everybody that's out there who has not yet subscribed to the Chizana, uh, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Turn your post notifications on. Yes. Like and share this video. Yes. And comment down below, baby. <laughs> Come and join the squad, man. And half and Jay. Yes. <laughs> we over here kicking off. Right? What? <laughs> <laughs> Good vibes, baby. Good, Good vibes. vibes. Boom. Boom. All right, here we go, man. Jordan Peterson. Links go be down in the description below. Not hot links. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. So here's what you should have done if you were a Nazi and you wanted to win the war. You should have enslaved the Jews and the Gypsies and had them work, right? You had to, should have had them work for the benefit of the victory. And then if you wanted to, you liquidate them afterwards. That's the logical thing to do if you want to win. And we assume that Hitler wanted to win. But that's not a very intelligent assumption. Why would you assume that? He wasn't exactly a good guy. So why should we assume that he was aiming at the good that he was promoting, even in his own terms? Right? The glorious, everlasting Fourth, Third Reich, right? That'll rule for a thousand years and be a, a bastion of civilization and music because that's the sort of thing he purported to be interested in. Well, so what do you do with the Jews and the gypsies? Well, round them up, fine. Enslave them, fine. You don't kill them. You certainly don't devote a substantial proportion of your war resources while you're losing to accelerate the rate at which the extermination is taking place. Because that's a bit counterproductive, unless what you're aiming at is the maximum possible mayhem in the shortest period of time. Well, so what happened as the Germans started to lose the war? Did Hitler lose faith in his own ability? No, he believed that the Germans had betrayed him with weakness. And so he was perfectly willing to ac accelerate the rate at which Germany was losing the war. And so when Hitler and his minions had the choice, here's the choice. You can suspend your unnecessary demolition of people, win the damn war, and then pick it up afterwards, or while you're losing, you can just accelerate the mayhem even though it's counterproductive. It's like, what'd they pick? Well, they pick to accelerate the mayhem. And so to me, there's an old psychoanalytic idea. I think this was derived by Jung. If you can't figure out what someone is doing or why, look at the outcome and infer the motivation. If it produces mayhem, perhaps it was aiming at mayhem. Now, you know, you have to use that dictum carefully. If someone's irritating you, you know, maybe it's because you're irritable and you should sort yourself out, but maybe it's because they're actually aiming at irritating you. And that's the actual motivation. So perhaps not, but it's another tool in your analytical armament. So, <clears throat> and so you see, well, and this is the thing about warfare that's so interesting about, about because you, you, can, you can attribute it to territoriality. You can attribute it to a war for resources. That's what the, I would say, wretchedly simple-minded economists presume. People fight over scarce resources. It's like, 
hey, we're a little bit more sophisticated than that. And first of all, what resources are you talking about? The bloody Inuit had nothing. They lived perfectly well. What did they have? Snow and seal blubber. You know, people can live in unbelievably deprived conditions. And so the idea that there are natural resources that we fight over because there's a shortage of them is a pretty oversimplified view of human beings. It's like, well, why do people fight? Well, maybe they fight sometimes for good reasons, but very, very frequently they fight for bad reasons. And those bad reasons are, are personal as well as sociocultural and economic. You know, if you were a Nazi prison guard, for example, whatever pathologies you were carrying around in your destructive little soul, whatever element of Cain was deeply embedded in you, had the opportunity to be manifest fully at every moment of your waking existence, right? You had these people who were completely beholden to you with no rights whatsoever, to whom you could do whatever your evil little heart determined. Right. Think, well, maybe that was a motivation for putting them there to begin with. And all the cover story about, well, we're trying to build the Third Reich and we're trying to stabilize the state and we're trying to do all these good things. Maybe that's just a cover story for the real motivation, which is nothing but, but what? The construction of death camps that killed six million people. Wow. How about that? And the obliteration of 120 million people on the planet. And Damn, six million people. That's a lot of freaking people, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of freaking people. I don't know how you can even <clears throat> begin to even do something like that to a population. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you kill six million people, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, And it's just so sad because I watched a, a movie. Uh, I don't know if it was a documentary. It was so long ago, but I, I, I watched how... Jewish people were forced into these box carts, mm -hmm. and like the, like the train mm -hmm. was, yeah, and like sprayed with like hoses, yeah, yep. sprayed with hoses, mm -hmm. and not eating, starving them to death. Right, and right. It, it it took a toll on me, mm -hmm. and you know I know that there's slavery, but you know our ancestors yeah. went through slavery, but mm -hmm. it it has ha it has happened to. A lot of different cultures right. who have been through, you know, the same similar, similar, thing. similar yeah. things. Some and maybe even Some worse. worse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And <clears throat> that's why I just that's I think that's why I'm so open minded. Mm -hmm. And some people will probably call me whitewashed, or mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying, or whatever they think of me. Mm -hmm. um, but it's other races that have been through tragedies as well mm -hmm. as black people mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but they and always I'm, I'm just realistic in that way and i know you are too right so there's always isolated for blacks though right you know what i'm saying like they you know i mean i i, I can kind of understand why they do it they always say that the country was built off of us anyway off our backs you know what i'm saying but um i think everybody had a, a play in that a part Everyone, of that yes. you know what i'm saying and help build this country up right you know what i'm saying so you know, but I'm for people, right? In general, right. just people. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. people could think of me, however. Right. I know how. I know my true heart and how I feel. So. Hey, y'all. Let's let's try to uh <coughs> put a uh a petition out there, man, for uh Jordan Peterson, man, so he can be the president. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think he's we, so intelligent and he's open minded and though, about a lot of things. Yes. Though. You know what I'm saying? He don't just look at it at the right. Or a left. He tells the the truth, the blunt truth. Exactly of how it's supposed to be and how it should and be. How made. and how things are done right. and you know have been done. And right. A lot of people get upset, and it's so sad that people will not accept the truth. Right. What's right. so hard about accepting the truth? They don't want to see it. No. But they, why? They, they feel guilty in some kind of way. I don't know what kind feel of way they don't feel guilty about the truth for, for hearing the truth because they've been living with this lie for so long, telling it. People that they run into come in contact with. So now if they feel like they have to upside from from what they was believing in and to what the actual truth is, they would feel embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been I've been preaching this for all my life, but now all, all of a that's sudden That's just well, so that's just people set in their ways and who are exactly. closed minded. Right. Closed minded, yeah. And pretty much. Just only want to be told what they want to hear. Yeah. And what's good to their ears. Yeah. I don't understand it, but hey. Yeah, I mean, 
killed six million people. How about that? And the obliteration of 120 million people on the planet and the, and the, and the, and the leaving of Europe in ruins. Maybe that was the motivation. Or are we going to attribute to Hitler the highest possible motives? Say, no, it's an archetypal manifestation of Cain. Now, he's going to put up a front that says, well, I'm your savior. It's like, well, destructive people think that Cain is their savior. Mm. Mm. Say that thing that Cain, though, is his mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, y'all know who Cain is, but he's in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So, that's crazy. I call that the bully syndrome, too. Like, yeah. you, you, you took yeah. your anger and your frustrations out mm -hmm. on innocent people Six who... Six million people. Right. Six defenseless million. people. Mm -hmm. They were bullied into a situation. And it's just sad that... And that's what you call taking advantage of your... Authority. Leadership, authority, your power... You know what I'm saying? Your position, the whole nine yards. Like, you take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why some people shouldn't be placed in power or in position to lead. Because a lot of people are not good leaders. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I think for those type of leaders, they intimidate their followers. Oh, yeah. You feel me? They're not following you because for they sure. believe in what you're doing. They follow you because they're scared of you. You're, you're, they're intimidated by mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? They feel like if they don't, if they don't follow you, What's going to happen to them? The bully. That's why I... You're right. I, you know what I'm saying? Syndrome. Right. Right. So... Very sad. <coughs> y'all let us know. Y'all give us y'all thoughts uh, about the Jordan Peterson, uh, how Hitler was even more evil than you thought that, that than you thought he was. Um, leave your comments down below. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Yes. And let's get to some react... I mean, to some, uh, <laughs> some shout uh, shout outs. Okay. First shout out goes to Lawrence Stoner. What's up, Lawrence Stoner? <laughs> Lauren Stoner. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I like that name, baby. You feel me? We can get stoned, oh, man. My yeah. goodness. But anyway, shout out to you, though, Lawrence, man. Hope you enjoyed that Jordan Peterson. Yes. Leave your comments down below. Leave your thoughts. Yes. And your opinions. And uh, we will definitely get back with y'all in the next reaction video, man. Yes. And second shout out goes to Joe Ryan. What's up, Joe Ryan? Joe Ryan, what's going on with you, man? Shout out to you. Yes. Hope you enjoyed that JP. Mm -hmm. um, let us know whatever... What well, other Jordan Peterson or any other commentary that you guys might be interested in that you guys might want to hear uh, our thoughts about and our opinions on, mm -hmm. make sure y'all leave the comments down below and uh, we'll get to them as soon as possible. Yes. All right. All right. We out this thing? We out this thing. All right. We gone, y'all. Yes. Peace. Peace.